Hi, I'm Ray. Well, I'm in the shed today. It's a bit of a change of scenery, but it's a really blurry day out there today. I've just been down the allotment and the polydunnel door has smashed with all the wind. So we need a bit of a rebuild when we go down again. So we're in the shed, trying to keep out the wind, but we're going to do our seeds. So this is week two for April, and I'm going to show you week by week what we're sowing and what we're doing on the allotment. So first of all, we've got five packets of seeds and these are all going to be sown in a square container. And first of all, we've got squash. And this is Patterson Gagnet. We've got swash and this is butternut squash. We're going to start doing our pumpkins and this is jack-o'-lantern and we're all going to start on the cucumbers and the cucumber we got is masterpiece I also want to do a mini munch but I haven't found some mini, mini, mini munch seeds yet and we're going to do courgettes so all of these seeds are all going to be done basically the same way we've got some multi-purpose compost just going to add a bit of perlite to the compost. And then we can fill our trays. Pressing them down. So first, what we're going to do is pumpkin. We open the seeds and we've got so this is our pumpkin seeds and this is Jack O' Lantern and we're going to add two seeds per pot and I'm not laying them flat because if they lay flat the water can lay on them and rot so I'm putting it in on its edge and I'm putting two in the tray and the rest can go back in and then we're just going to cover over the top we add a label chuck a lantern and we can give it a water and that can go in the greenhouse so we're going to do the same with the courgettes This is zucchini, a popular heavy copper. And we're going to add slightly smaller seed. And we're going to add two per pot on the side and we'll save the rest for another day I'm going to cover this over same again and we're going to do the same with the squash This one is Patterson Gagat, harvest in as little as 55 days and it's a good climber. We've got three seeds, so we're going to plant all three. One, two, three. And we cover over. Label. One, two, three. And then the 
final one we're going to do is the butternut squash, which is the same procedure. Delicious roasted wind soups, approximately 10 seeds. And we're going to put three of these one, two, three. And then a label. So that's the first three of the big seeds done. We're all going to get a water and they can sit in the greenhouse. So next we're going to do cucumber and I'm doing this in a green pot. Same again, fill up the pot. We take our seeds, we've got 10 seeds in the packet. This is early and reliable, crisp, white, tender flesh, perfect for summer salads. We do get through a lot of cucumbers, my daughter loves cucumber and water. So we do get a lot of those. So these cucumber seeds are very small. And I'm going to put four seeds in each corner. There we go. And then cover that up. And not forgetting the label. And that too, you can also have a drink. So my next job for April is to pot up the tomatoes. And these are the tomatoes we grew from a single tomato from the supermarket. And I put a link up for the video showing how easy it was to do. And I'm going to put these up into a larger pot and we're going to do them quite deep. I'm just putting a little tiny bit in the bottom and as we can see the roots are already on the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to place it as deep as we can bottom of the pot and then we can fill up the rest of the remaining pot with the compost and it's burying the stem deep and that can grow some more roots from the stem. So we've just done a step up from that pot to that pot and that's going to make a good bit of progress for the tomato plant. I'm really looking forward to growing them on. So there we go. That's our four tomato plants potted up. They're going to sit back in the greenhouse After a bit of water, and grow on from there. So next, on our list for April, for the second week, is some cabbage. And this is called April, and this is a spring cabbage. And it's the best spring cabbage. And we've also got Calibos, and this is a red cabbage, delicious raw in salads. And then we've got Calabrese, this is green sprouting, 
crops over a long period. And then we've got some Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard for the colours that it makes. Lovely, lovely colours. And this is bright lights. And the next one we've got is a spinach. And this is matador. Tasty leaves and slow to bolt. Well, all these I'm going to be doing in this Charles Dowding seed tray. And there's also a video about the seed tray and how sturdy it is compared to the plastic seed trays. And we're going to fill this one up with our compost. And we're not going to do many. We're just going to do 12 of each. So I'm just pressing them down. Making a bit of a divot so we can put our seeds in. So, first of all, spinach. These have been eaten by the mice. I left my seeds in the shed and they got slightly munched. So we've lucky we've got some because they're still in the foil packet. So spinach. We're going to try and put one in each cell. Maybe two in some. And then we need to add our label. Trying to keep on top of the labels this year. As we don't normally. Spinach. Next, the Rainbow Light Swiss chard. These are big old seeds, but easier to handle. The wind's not letting down out there. We're going to put one of those in each of these. go, that's the Swiss chard. Another label. The next is the Calabrese. We've used this one before. So we'll be using the seeds. And these are very much small round balls. It's even harder to try and get one or two of these. So two in each is fine. That's the Calabrese. Label. Next one is cabbage, and this is the red cabbage. And this packet's also been eaten. This is very much the same as the Calabrese. Not so many seeds in that packet, very small. So we'll try and do one in each, spread them out. This is also good for me to keep a note of actually what I'm growing. Cabbage, Caliboss, and then the final one 
eight full. Here's the loose in the packet. So again, try and do one or two in each, if possible. There we are. Label. And all we need to do is cover it up with a light covering of compost. And we can use the same cell tray for different items. It doesn't matter. Save space. Job done. Quick and easy. Give it a water. And these are going to sit in the greenhouse. So next on my list is leek. And the leek we've got here is Leon. It provides long, thick, white stems and leeks. I'm just using a big flower pot, filling it up towards the top, flattening it down so it's nice and flat. And these leeks are pretty easy. You just leave them in this pot until it's ready to put out on the allotment plot. We've got our seeds. And then we're going to just sprinkle them all around the pot. Nice and evenly. All around. Save the rest. And then we're going to cover over the top. And these are going to stay in there until they're pencil thick. And then we can transfer them onto the vegetable garden. They need a water. So the last two. I'm going to do on the second week of April is Swede and Marianne. High yielding and stores well. We really do like Swede. And the other one we got is Turnip and this is Milan Purple Top. And I love the colours in the purple top. It's really good. And for that I'm just using trays. We're filling it with our compost, flattening it down, and for this one we're going to use half a tray for each seed. So I've made a partition down the side. This one also been eaten by the slugs, but they've not actually found the seeds a bonus. They're hiding. I had some critters come into the shed and they've eaten all my flower seeds and that was a right old mess. So turnip, very similar to cabbage seeds. So I'm just going to sprinkle these along one side. Like so. Always empty out the packet over the top. If any falls in, you may get a bonus plant. And then the last one, oh, label. So I'm going to forget which is which. Turn it. 
And then the next one, Swede. And Swede's going to go on this side. And they look exactly the same as turnips. And we're just going to scatter over the tray, put the back yes, remaining in there, back in the packet, in there, label, then we're going to cover with our compost, give a bit of water, and job done. So I've really enjoyed a couple of hours pottering around just in the shed on a windy old day away from any wind getting a few jobs done. So if you live up north and you want to follow along then maybe wait a week or two and follow along what I'm doing and that'd be great and also let me know what you're sewing this weekend that'd be great leave a comment in the comment and we can watch what everybody's growing and it is great great achievement to grow your own food really really good so if you're new to my channel then please subscribe ring that bell get notifications when I post some more and better get these in the greenhouse Thank you very much. Cheers.